Hi, welcome to another episode of Lender Ask Who. Today, I will be sharing with you the difference between Castle House and Landed Property. So there is a couple of segments that I want to share. Castle House and Landed, Car Park and Shelter, Living Space and Bathroom, Maintenance and Repair, of course, Capital Appreciation and Rental Youth. So, if you are looking for a pure 5 bedroom condo, I will suggest you to look straight into a cluster house or a landed property because it will cater you with more space. Both landed and clusters are houses. They are both standalone building with multiple storeys. Some could be two storey, three storey or three and a half storey. The differences for cluster housing is their strata title, there is MCST like a condominium. It also comes with common facilities like swimming pool, gym, clubhouse, barbecue pit, garden, playground, etc. Where owner will share the maintenance costs. Cluster houses are also less flexible than a landed, where we cannot totally tear down and rebuild. Uh, we can also we can't also just change the facade to your personal preference. There is rules and regulation. Uh, by MCST to maintain the uniform appearance of the facade and of the house. As for full landed, they are landed title, which means you own the land. Self maintenance, you can also change almost everything to your personal preference, and as long as it's under the URA regulation. We can do a major renovation to readjust the configuration, doing a ANA, which is additional on alteration, or to create more GFA the gross floor area or reconstruct to add another level, extension, changing the external outlook or we can do a full rebuild. Full demolish, piling, rebuild up maximum with GFA as long as it complies under the URA regulation. Second, the car park and shelter. Cluster housing usually will come with two parking lots and visitor parking. They are sheltered car park where it convenience for raining days, without getting drenched. Also convenient for bulky shopping or grocery shopping. So for landed houses, terrace usually can only park one car in the house or maybe one another one outside. But certain areas, there are either double yellow light or zigzag light in the exterior. So visitor, when they park, they might park a distance further away and they need to walk over. And also parking under the hot sun after a couple of hours, uh, it could be quite uncomfortable because you need to dry off in a swana car, very hot. The number three will be the living space and bathroom. Landed houses will give you a bigger living hall, um, especially also the dining and also the bigger kitchen. Also better chance to have a granny room on the ground level. Older type of terraces uh, may not come with um, end suite bathroom, so usually for the two-storey type of terrace, it only come with three bedrooms on the second level. One will be master attached, and then two other common bedrooms sharing one common bathroom. So for the newer cluster housing, they normally come with all bedroom ensuite. They may not come with a granny room on the ground level, but there is a home leaf accessing to every level to convenient if there's any old folks staying with you. But the living hall, the kitchen might be slightly smaller, compared to a landed house. Number four, the maintenance and repairs. Landed house, there is no maintenance fee. However, we need to upkeep the exterior and also the interior of the house. A regular repainting work between five to 10 years can cost you up to 15 to 20,000. As landed houses, we require scaffolding while doing exterior painting. We might also need to bring in pest contract to maintain the premises from insects like mosquito, rats, cockroaches, or even termites. So, cluster housing are managed under MCST where we pay a monthly maintenance. Facade, the garden will be taken care by the MCST, only need to take care of the interior renovation and the maintenance. Number five, capital appreciation and rental youth. I would say there is no universal answer on which will give you a better appreciation. However, based on the past record, landed prices have appreciated much higher compared to a cluster housing. 
but the new regulation of the cluster housing significantly will reduce the amount of new built cluster housing because now we can only build lesser houses even on the same land. That will give or that will also create a higher demand. Cluster houses will also be uh, entry pricing for upgraders who want more rooms and space for family needs. Rental youth. A cluster house usually gives a better rental youth compared to a landed house. As fact, they are lower in quantum, which the rental youth will calculate based on annual rental income divided by the cost of the unit. So also where cluster housing come with a facility and is more inviting to expect looking for space and lifestyle for their family. So remember what I say, there's one good, no two good. If both are good, price not good. So kindly like, share and subscribe to I'm Alex and I will see you soon.